And the Quinney Skyhawks are in action here against the Ottawa Sooners as we kick off and get ready for game number three of the Skyhawks 2023 Canadian Junior Football League season. Great to have you along with us here, wherever you may be tuning in. Here at Loyalist College Field, the Quinney Skyhawks in week three of their season against the Ottawa Sooners coming off of two big victories over the GTA Grizzlies. Set it down as they get ready as they're moving the ball slowly. Uh, down the field here. All right, just uh, Bowman there again, kept the ball. He had nothing uh, to go to. And so out of the shotgun, he's looking, nothing to throw to, so he keeps the ball. And uh, yeah, he was able to pick up two or three on that one, but it's a uh, second and seven right now as they uh, continue to plug away at this Sooner defense. Skyhawks in a decent position to throw here. Here is Bowman with it. He'll Trying fake again. it. Yeah, nice little pump fake, and he gets it on to Josh Beal, but it's not going to be enough to get past that first down marker. Yeah, great play on the defense uh, for the Ottawa Sooners, number five there, Noah Nelson. He was uh, playing tight up against uh, Mr. Beal there and uh, was able to come in and just make a great, great tackle. Yeah, Josh Beal had one of the touchdowns in the home opener back a couple of uh, weeks ago, August the 20th. Skyhawks romped over the GTA Grizzlies and then did the same thing to them 50 to nothing on uh, the game, in the game last Sunday. So they're punting, we'll see how we can do into the wind here. Was able to get that punt off, so. Yeah, there's, there's there been we a go. couple of uh, awkward snaps, but Olay so. gets it perfectly there. Nice high hard punt. Hot, and now on the run is going to be Sagetti. Nick Sagetti trying to get wide here. He does. He's going to bust past one and then try to shimmy around another blocker, another tackler, I should say, and he gets taken out on the sideline near the Skyhawk side. So good work done there by him. Yeah, Nick, Nick Zagetti leads the league right now in punt returns. He's averaging over 20 yards a return. And uh, so as you can see there, this is why he's leading the league as uh, – he sees that open space, able to get out of that tackle, two tackles, and then finally he's brought out of bounds right in front of their bench. So good job on him. Yeah, nice work done by Nick Sagetti, who's been very impressive to this point. So. Uh, Skyhawks get a bit of a break here. There's a high wow. snap again. And off to Vanetti. There goes Jake Vanetti driving through, and he gained a couple of big yards. Not enough for a first down, though, it looks like, but enough to at least challenge the Sooners and force them into uh, getting uh, tougher there on the O-line. Yeah, Bowman used all uh, six foot four of his height to be able to bring that uh, snap down and able to get that hand off. And great job just pushing the ball as they try to move the ball again. And we'll see what they got. I think it's third down. Yeah, they're going to be short a couple yards. So, S Coach Miller, Coach Miller has got to decide if he wants to go for it here. And they are. Yeah, it's a good choice. I think so. And this situation here, you're on their side of the ball. Your defense has been playing well. Um, so here they come. They're just going to push them forward. Yeah, they're going to try and truck it ahead, and that's going to be it. enough. Yep, first down for the Skyhawks on that one, and the gamble uh, pays off. I guess it wasn't really a gamble, though, when you consider that the Skyhawks uh, had every uh, last bit of personnel all in the right spots to push that through. Yeah, so just a uh, quarterback, Bowman just holds onto the ball and pushes it forward with the help of those big hoggies in front of them, and they were able to pick up the couple yard games ahead of them also. So, yeah, they definitely want to try getting a, a win today. Bowman dropping back, and there's the pass, and... Oh, what a pass that was wow. right through the hands of the Sooners defender. That is going to be a first down for Otis Newbury. Nice connection by Bowman to number six, and the UK import has a first down. Yeah, it uh, Bowman playing with a little bit with fire there as he uh, placed that ball perfectly over the hands of the defender and right into Otis's uh, numbers, and he was able to grab that, and uh, it's first and goal now, it looks like. We're pretty close to it. No, they're still, they're just outside, so they're going to be. Yeah, major, major progress made to at so least get it to about the 15-yard so line. Oh, so Bowman tried to yeah, 
decent idea there for the Sooners, and now Kevin Oh, so Ling's they didn't get the first down, so it's second and about two. Yeah, Kevin Ling's team in scoring position. Barbarico is trying to shove through yeah. the big, massive uh, crowd in front of him there, and that'll be a touchdown. Barbarico is his first of the game. And welcome back to Loyalist College Field for second half action between the Quinney Skyhawks and the Ottawa Sooners. This is the Skyhawks' third week game, leading uh, their 2-0 on the season. But they're down 22-3 right now to the Sooners. Brock Ramon, Mark McFall with you on behalf of our Your TV Quinney volunteer crew. And Mark, uh, second half start for the Skyhawks. Uh, what, what's kind of their uh, their MO in terms of getting back into this game? Well, I'm sure uh, Coach Sean there on the, was just telling them to calm down. I was talking to a couple people and they said they were starting to get a little anxious on the sidelines. Keep it calm and, you know, just focus on your job. Do your job and, you know, let's see what happens. And they came out, they kicked off the ball right into this wind that's just, it's a heavy wind this afternoon. It blew it out of bounds. So they get to start the ball, Ottawa does, on their 42-yard uh, where it went out. So here he goes just again. They're going back to that run. The Sooners are up the middle. And yeah, and Good was also limping to up the field. Made a nice tackle there. Another flag comes out. But he just flattened uh, the ball carrier. That was Bertrand and took him down. It looks like handshakes are coming out here at the end of this one. But Tegan but Good definitely. Uh, so right here, the, the receiver, he can't throw it forward. He can do it lateral. But uh, so they caught that. And this is going to be the end of the game here. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm sure that they're just going to wave it off. Yeah, tough luck there for Good. Yeah, and he, he's still limping somewhat, so he must have caught that uh, punt in an awkward spot in his foot because he is uh, not running the proper he, way right now. Yeah, and he hasn't been able to – he he hadn't played the last few series, so I think uh, he got hurt earlier. Yeah, and Good uh, – Well, they're good. lining up to shake hands. That's a good sign. Yeah, Good is uh, the, only, is the res one responsible for the only three points of the game for the Skyhawks on a second-quarter field goal, but it was all Ottawa Sooners in this one. 50-3, to three, they take the victory. Next home game right here on your TV, Quinny, won't be for another couple of weeks. Saturday, September 23rd, 2 o'clock, the Hamilton Hurricanes are in town to take on the Skyhawks, what should be a good battle of a game. Skyhawks trying to earn their first victory against the Hurricanes in their franchise history. They lose for the first time today, though. They're now 2-1 on the 2023 CGFL campaign. Uh, they kept the game pretty close uh, through the first, largely the first half, but as we talked about, Mark, those two back-to-back -to -back touchdowns on consecutive yep. offensive touches for the Sooners was pretty much the uh, the difference maker in this one that led to the, the romp in the second half. Ottawa made the right adjustments uh, throughout the game, and the Skyhawks couldn't answer. And so, the, you know, the coaches are going to have to get together with the players this week, look at the film, and look for the positives. You know, obviously you have to address all the, the things that went wrong, but also work and build off of the good stuff. And there is still lots of good stuff. Their running game is still strong. Their special teams game is still really strong. Defense played really well in the first. They were just out there too much, and they got tired, and Ottawa took advantage of that. So I expect them to bounce back, but next week, as we know, going into London is not going to be an easy task. And uh, so we're, we're hoping the best for them. Yeah, they play at one, uh, 5 o'clock next Saturday and then 1 o'clock on September the 16th, two weeks from now, against these very same Ottawa Sooners. So it should be an interesting matchup, and we'll see if the Skyhawks hold any grudges against uh, that Sooners team who has uh, looked very impressive. That's their first win in four tries this season, and so a good uh, good job for them. But uh, now going against uh, the Hamilton Hurricanes at home uh, next Saturday. So uh, what do you kind of expect from both London and Hamilton, two really good teams? They're, they're, they're going to have their, 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 their work cut out for them. They really are. They're still going up against some really strong organizations. Ottawa is, you know, and as the season goes on, you see more film on other teams. You get to know the other teams. Like, okay, so we're playing Ottawa again in two weeks. Well, you know, you know what you're up against. So hopefully they can make the adjustments for that game. But Hamilton's going to be a tough game, no, no doubt. Well, we uh, look forward to that. Uh, two or three Saturdays from now, September the 23rd, 2 o'clock, right here on your TV, Quinty. 
A uh, great game for the Skyhawks. Unfortunately, uh, not enough points on the board. 50-3, to three, the Ottawa Sooners win. On behalf of our director, Eric Howard, producers, J.P. Lemieux and Ann Workhoven, and my broadcast partner, Mark McFall. My name is Brock Oraman. We'll say so long for now. We'll talk to you in a couple weeks' time when the Skyhawks return home to Loyalist College Field. This has been a presentation of CGFL football on your TV, Quinty.